here at the Emergency Operations Center in Saipan. Big news today, as four days after Typhoon Sotolor devastated the CNMI, Acting Governor Ralph Torres got good news that the Federal Emergency Management Agency has confirmed that President Barack Obama has signed a major disaster declaration for the Northern Marianas. I'm here with Larissa Pashton from FEMA, who's going to explain what this means for the CNMI. Sure. So the president has approved a declaration for CNMI. This includes individual assistance for the residents on Saipan. And what that means is that they will be eligible to receive financial assistance to help get back into their homes, do some critical structural repairs to their houses, and additional home repairs. There's also been a public assistance grant given to all of the islands in CNMI, which is for you know improving and reconstructing government infrastructure, as well as for the communities and certain private nonprofits who may also be eligible for that infrastructure redevelopment. There's also been a component called hazard mitigation for all, the whole Commonwealth and the islands, which is ways to do a long-term process to ensure that, you know, if another um, natural disaster hits, the buildings are done to a good condition so that, you know, so that they won't have the same damages again the next time around. Okay, I understand there is some aid already en route to Saipan from Guam. What can you tell me about this? Sure, so we had our warehouses in Guam and Hawaii pre, you know, ready with resources available beforehand in preparation and if CNMI requested any of that emergency rapid needs assistance. Some of that, in, um, some of those commodities included like infant kits, generators, potable water if, if requested, as well as food available in our warehouses that we can bring in support. One of the big ones we are sending over are uh, several um, generators that have been requested from the CNMI government and they are currently en route. We don't have an ETA as to when they will land because you know they're coming from both Guam, Hawaii, some are coming from ships, some are coming by air. So, but those should be arriving within the next two days to help with the process. All right, thank you, Larissa. That's the latest here out of the Emergency Operations Center. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.